Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Thursday, April 9th, 2020. It is 7.41 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And this is Gary, and I'm just doing a check-in real quick. Um, because of the coronavirus, COVID-19 pandemic, I've been talking to my psychiatrist on the phone instead of meeting with him in person. Um, we had a telephone conference today and uh, we didn't change much of anything I'm still on the same meds uh, told them that I'm doing okay in most of my symptoms I'm not particularly depressed or particularly anxious or particularly paranoid today um, I'm certainly not violent I'm certainly not suicidal um, we didn't change any of my medications I only mentioned that one thing that I have going on is sometimes when I'm breathing I have like a spasm that makes me take in a deep breath and then releases. It's involuntary. It's like my muscles tighten up and I take in a deep breath and then it releases. And the uh, psychiatrist was concerned that maybe that might be something called tardative dyskinesia. Tardative dyskinesia comes from using antipsychotics like the one I'm on. I'm on Haldol and it can cause permanent involuntary muscle movements. We don't know if that's what is going on. I have a telephone interview with my primary care physician on the 14th of April, which would be next week. And I'm gonna ask her to see if that uh, muscle spasm that makes me take in a deep breath, release it, and then go back to normal breathing. If that's related to something like possibly emphysema, cause I'm still smoking. I don't know if I have emphysema. The last time I saw my primary care doctor, she gave me an inhaler of albuterol to help me breathe better. So I don't know if what's going on is about my smoking cigarettes, um, lung damage, or anything like that. I'm just not sure. I have no other shortness of breath, breath or any other serious symptoms. It's just a weird, annoying feeling for your lungs to have to take in a sudden in-breath of air and then release it. And then go back to normal breathing. Um, but I guess that's all for now. I just wanted to check in. And obviously, I got a haircut. I did that myself last night. I took a pair of a uh, bunch of clippers and just shaved it all off. My hair was getting long, curly. It was getting so I couldn't get a brush or a comb through it. So I decided just to chop it all off. Um, but it looks crappy. And it probably does. It'll grow back in a few weeks. And uh, it's warm weather, so... I just thought I'd just cut all my hair off. And I did tell my psychiatrist that I had shaved my head bald. Um, most of the, in New York State and Rochester, most of the barber shops are closed. I didn't know what else to do. There's no barber shops open. There's no salons open. Um, because close contact like that could spread coronavirus. Um, you got people touching your head and your, you know, their hands are near your mouth and your nose and all that. So the barber shops are all closed in New York State. Um, so I decided to cut my own hair because it needed to be done. Um, so I didn't do it for religious reasons or anything like that. Uh, I'm not a Buddhist monk. But uh, other than that, there's not much going on. Um, stay safe. Like, comment, subscribe, share. If you want to see my new videos when they come out, make sure you press the... Uh, notification bell even if you're subscribed you might not know when i put out new videos if you want me to do a video on a specific topic let me know in the comment section below um and i don't ask for money to do these videos so if you want to help me the best thing you could do is share my videos with your friends on the social network sites stay safe